Batangas Racing Circuit. Pardon me if I don't talk that much today because my throat has been a little raspy because I had a fan on my back the other day so kind of scratchy, kind of hurts. I did swab myself, I am negative so a bit worried but you never know with these things. Anyway, it's going to be a two-hour drive to get to the racetrack and then we'll do some updates there. Excited to try out this car on track and I'm hoping our weather cooperates because according to the forecast, we might have rain. Struan might meet up with me also later today, so hopefully he makes his way down from Cali and we're gonna have a fun track day. Brought my breakfast and lunch, all combined. Gonna eat first, wait for Strew, and then hopefully they go with some tables and chairs. This is my new driving coach. It is a Garmin Catalyst. I saw it off one of Strew's friends and I was blown away at the data that it's actually gonna give us. So this is the built-in camera and yep, it basically gives us coaching depending on line, entry speed, and consistency and tells you if you're offline, faster, break deeper, so um, it only pushes you to your capabilities and it doesn't push you beyond that. And what's nice is you can actually connect it to your Bluetooth. So it'll talk to you internally. <laughs> Thank you so much to Strew and Jan for helping me install the taller wing risers. It looks so good now. Put it on maximum downforce so hopefully we don't get slower. But we will find out when we take it out again. Just finished a session, took Strew out so he can improve his lines, but 
I was able to get a 141.65 after changing the wing stance to the taller wing, stand, wing riser. So I don't know if the downforce on that helped, but definitely the car is sitting down more. Um, I do think we, do, we still need the cup R tires along with the better brake pads and the stainless steel brake line. So we're having that rush air freight from Hong Kong to Manila. Hopefully it'll make it in time and then we can check why the car is just pulling a little right. But the car is a monster. We're inflating our tires already because the sky looks like it's not gonna clear up. And we're just gonna do some rollers and duty shots. Let's do the 360 mount. This is Jan's car. We royally fucked this one up. Damage okay, okay. the wing, damage the trunk, damage the taillight, the bumper, lower carbon piece, lower rear diffuser, uh, the corner light, and then the glass crack. Um, obviously, alignment's off. I think the wheels are okay. Alignment looks okay, but it's still drivable. The exhaust is also outward, so. Gotta bring this down and drop it off for a bear. Hopefully we can still run it on the week, uh, end of the month. This was our bright idea to actually get some B-roll and play in the rain. This is what happens when you bring a non-drift car and go drifting. Porsches don't like to go sideways and that is exactly the reason why. Oh, feels so bad. This was such a beautiful car 10 minutes ago, but now I really screwed it up. Let's hope nothing flies off when we drive home. Screw also screwed up a little. Yeah. I think we should bring this to Hazard Boy and see dismantle everything. Not the way I wanted to end today. Supposed to take it easy, but really screwed this one up. Uh, we're gonna crawl our way home and start to call people and see what parts we can get. Uh, this is not the way. This is what happens when you bring a track car. Go, to go drifting. Totally my fault, it could have been worse. I'm glad that I'm fine. Uh, we just feel bad for the car, we just finished assembling it. There's been such a monster on track and I should have stayed put and just done some fast times rather than go play around. 
just got off the phone with Edward. He can already start the repairs and assess the damage. I think it's all cosmetic though. I don't think we really broke anything major in the suspension, but the taillights, the rear bumper needs to be repaired. The carbon bits can be repaired, but the weave's not gonna be the same, so I'm gonna order those. The rear wing, I don't know if we can repair. We might have to use the stock wing. The wing risers have to be shaved down and basically painted again or anodized. So just sad, again, just I feel like shit. Like, this is not the way. I really wanted to end the day, I kept seeing it saying that but yeah sad news guys we are overheating and end of the story basically we're now waiting for camel to get here they're gonna be here past 5 p.m it is going to be a long and arduous wait good thing jan is here <laughs> keeping me company he saw me good thing he stopped huh? <laughs> yeah. uh, we were overheating on the highway already and I was basically keeping the heater on so that uh, we could just keep running the car. Um, Edward thinks that the water to air intercooler got damaged underneath. That's why we are overheating. So I, I tried to pop the radiator cap and we basically steamed out. And yep, all we can do now is just wait. Okay, since we are still in the gas station waiting for the driver, waiting for the tow truck, let's assess the damage of the car. So the rear glass is broken. As you can see, the cracks here have crawled from the corner here all the way up. That needs to be replaced. The rear quarter panel looks okay. The water to air cooler, or sorry, yeah, the, the intercooler behind here, which is uh, water to air. One of the pipes probably bent, that's why we're overheating. Um, the lower diffuser seems okay. The rear valence definitely, it can be repaired, but you'll visibly see the repair, so we are going to get a replacement. This can be mended, so that's definitely okay. So we're going to just basically plastic weld all this, that can be replaced. So basically when you heat the bumper, you can actually get it to reform and follow the original shape. And then after that, obviously taillight needs to be replaced. Little alignment, uh, we ended up cracking the trunk. That needs to be repaired so taking off the wing stand i ended up asking keith to replace the uprights it's funny we got both right uprights now we need a upright again the wing definitely can be repaired but i will ask for a replacement as well hopefully the rear diffuser is fine the exhaust tip needs to be touched up but should be okay the exhaust tip is actually hitting the valve uh, pin so uh, I think if we stretch everything out, we should be okay. Um, we do have the CSF intercoolers already at the house, so we're definitely going to send it to Edward to replace these guys. And then we will find out for sure what else needs to be repaired Whoa. when this gets to the Hazard Boy shop. Uh, Camel Toe is already an hour out. I'm just lucky that Jan graciously waited with me and my driver is about 15 minutes out. I'll probably end up changing the tires also to the Cup 2Rs and then we are going to be getting the Manti brake pads also and then hopefully do the brake lines and the brake hoses so it's going to be a tight squeeze to get to finish the car before the end of the month but Edward said he's going to try his best to get it done if not we might have to take a different car it's so sad because I was doing some pretty amazing times with it Face palm moment. My trusty driver is here and we're just waiting for the tow truck now. We're all reliable. Okay, time to load. <laughs> 